Welcome back to another episode of Carson's Aquatics Today. I'm here with my girlfriend, Tori. Hi. She was in a video of mine back in January, but at that time I only had like 2,000 subscribers, so almost all of you probably didn't even know she existed. Here she is. Hello. <laughs> and she told me that all she wanted for Christmas this year was a pet hamster, and I was like, say less. I can make a video of it. Everyone will be happy. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be setting up an enclosure for it. It is going to be going right here on her dresser. We've both been doing research on it for the past couple of days, and we found that uh, what we believe to be like the best enclosure for it is an aquarium so that's what we're gonna go with and yeah like I said we did research this so we think we know what we're doing but of course if we do something wrong or if we could do something better just let me know in the comments and with that being said we're gonna head out to a couple different stores and collect everything we need alright guys so we are here at PetSmart and we're trying to decide on the hide or the main hide we're looking at this house and this boat they're both pretty cool which one do you like better you said you like the house better I like the house We'll have its own little home. <laughs> I think it's cute. Yeah, we'll probably go at the house. We're looking at some other little decorations, like two toys and stuff. And for some reason, Tori really wants the chair. I love this chair. Yeah, we're not gonna put it in the house because it'll be like too big and like unproportional. Yeah, a little porch chair that he can chill <laughs> on. So yeah, all right, toss it in. <laughs> Boom. We're over here at the water bottles, and we're gonna go with this one because the hamster is gonna be tiny. We don't need that much water at one time and we're using an aquarium so like these little clip-on ones wouldn't work this one is a stick-on like this bracket has sticky stuff on the back of it so we can just stick onto the tank so that's what we're going with and now for food bowls what are we thinking i like the pink one pink oh. you like pink yes and nice and cheap that's what carson likes to see very nice yay so we're looking at the bedding right now and we're thinking we're gonna go with this it's a twin pack it's half off for some reason and eventually we're gonna need all this like doing tank cleanings and stuff so we'll eventually use all of it so that's what we're gonna go with oh, that is a lot. <laughs> this is gonna last you years <laughs> for the chew toys we're going with the corn on the cob and then i'm thinking we need one more hide like have one hide on each side of the tank i think i'm in between these like, this is kind of cute. Does it go up more like that? Yeah, it looks flexible. Yeah, let's just get that. This. Yeah. This is the ball we're gonna get so we can run around like around the house. The hamster is absolutely tiny, so we're gonna go with the smallest ball. Just so it doesn't have trouble pushing it around. Like with this one, it might have trouble getting around. So this is what we're going with. We're also gonna start off with this little thing of food. And now we're gonna head over to another store to pick out the wheel and the hamster. Guys, and here's the one we're getting. So cute. <laughs> Look at this. Thing looks like the devil. It's a hey, why is it 130? They're 130 bucks. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, here is the actual one that we're getting. A female Roborovsky. Roborovsky, I don't know. Hamster. There she is. This one, we looked at this one yesterday. We kind of went to a couple stores. This was the first one we looked at and Tori just really vibed with it. I love her. Like she knew, it was like love at first sight, honestly. So that's the one. We're going to go talk to a worker and get her all boxed up. All right, guys, and there it is. Got our hamster right there. So we're going to head home. Well, first we're going to head over to one last store just to get the tank and the wheel. We'll be in and out in like three minutes. And then we're gonna head to her house and set all this stuff up. So we're at our last stop of the day and we're going to pick up this wheel. This was 23 bucks at Petco, only 16 here. And then lastly, the tank, 20 gallon long tank. Let's get it. This thing is gonna be a mansion. Like, did you guys see the size of the hamster? That thing yeah, was seriously. like golf ball size. And now, we're going to just give the inside of the tank a good wipe down because I already see a bunch of dust particles and stuff in there. So we just want to get all that out and then we can start putting in the bedding and all the other stuff. All right, so we got the first thing of bedding. Again, we got a ton. It was a good deal. It was half off. And like I said, we are going to use it eventually. And it's always a better deal to buy in bulk if you're eventually going to use all the stuff, whatever it is. I like to buy a lot of fish food at one time just because it saves you a lot of money in the long run. We're going to cut this first thing open. All right, so I think that should be good. And that's like maybe a third of the bag right there. So... That'll definitely last a long time. We're gonna spread this out some more. You wanna have plenty of substrate so they can burrow. Hamsters do love to dig, hide under the substrate. All right, so are you thinking house on the left side? I think it looks better that way than this way. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so we'll have that in the corner. Yeah, is that all good? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. 
All right, we'll go chair now. We were thinking right here. Should come out, take a seat after a long day of being a hamster. Yep. Looks good. It's hard work. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got our wheel right here, nice and wheelie. We'll put that. Yeah, right that's in good. Oh yeah. Yeah. We have our little bridge, again, like right there. Yep. This looks so good. A food bowl right here. What do you think? Is that good? Yeah. She she's short. Is that everything? Or no, the corn. <laughs> corn. And then the chair is also a chew toy. It said chew toy on it, so you want to give them chew toys to uh, keep their teeth whittled down, because I believe their teeth don't stop growing like ever. Dang. Oh my god. Yes. Now let's just fill up the water and put some food in there for her and then we can pop her in here. A few moments later. Alright, just fill it up the water. Let's get it on in there. Boom. Let's make sure she works. Yep. Nice. And now let's pour some food in there. Oh, and I do want to mention the one thing we don't really have is a sand bath. And what I read is a lot of people do put a sand bath in the tank at all times. A sand bath is basically just a container full of sand because hamsters don't like bathing in water, so they bathe in sand. <laughs> and uh, a lot of people do put it in the tank with them at all times, or you can also just like offer it to them every once in a while. So that's where we're gonna go with. Um, we'll just put a container full of sand in there every so often for them. But let's get a little scoop of food. We'll just put a nice little amount there. And you'll get a feel for it over time, like how much she eats. And I believe that's it. This oh should gosh. be ready. I'll let you do the honors of putting it in. Are you sure? It. Yeah, it's your, it's your Oh my pet. God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. <gasps> Go ahead. Go get it. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Going into the backyard. Corn? Oh, hey! She's oh, she going in the house. house. <laughs> I hope she sits in the chair. Oh my god. I feel like I want to name her Daisy. Just do that. That's what you've been saying. Okay. She looks happy. Yeah, she's just exploring. She looks curious. She's so active. It's a major upgrade. Yeah, and we did get the most active one. Literally, every other hamster we looked at, pretty much. Everywhere. Was hiding. Was hiding. And she was the only her. one. She was coming up to the glass and she was like saying yeah, hi. Both days we saw her, she was out and about. She has so much room. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This is so good. Yeah, just look at her compared to the whole thing. Plenty of room. Hey. Oh. <laughs> she likes <laughs> she, her she house. Likes her house. Good. <laughs> so obviously it's going to take little Daisy a while to get used to her new enclosure. This is a massive upgrade and a major change. So we're gonna give her some time. Apparently whenever you put a hamster in a new enclosure, you should give them like two or three days to get adjusted. Like completely leave them alone for that period of time. So that's what we're gonna do. She's probably gonna be hiding for most of the time, but here in a few days or a week or so, I'll come back here and do an update on her and we'll probably take her out. We might even put her in the ball and let her run around. I don't know. But that is gonna wrap up this video and today's comment of the day goes out too. And if you want your comment to be the comment of the day in the next video, all you gotta do is drop a comment down below and that could happen. And if you liked this video, be sure to hit that like button, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, and I am gonna see you in the next video. Oh, dang. <gasps> Keep hacking.